report to a girl that had been stabbed on the bus. Police officers attended and on attendance uh, they attempted to revive the girl in question but unfortunately she's been pronounced dead at the scene. Um, what I can say at the moment is that the girl is 16 years old, her family have been informed and we have dedicated family liaison officers with the family at the moment giving them the relevant support that they need. As you can appreciate, the family are extremely distressed and distraught by the news of today's events. In relation to uh, the offender, uh, we are currently actively undergoing a manhunt operation in Birmingham. We are utilising every specialist officer, local policing officers and investigators in order to identify, locate and arrest the offender who is currently outstanding. The male we are looking for is described as a black male. He's described as in his late teens, early twenties. He is wearing dark coloured trousers, a dark coloured hooded top with a very distinctive tiger or leopard motif on the back of his hooded top. It is also possible that he has either a bandage around his right hand or he may be carrying a small white bag in his right hand. Um, that's what we know from witnesses who we've spoken to at the scene. Um, currently I would appeal to anybody who was in and around the location, specifically on the bus at the time of the incident, who has seen anything, who has not spoken to police officers yet, to please come forward on our dedicated number which will be provided and to tell us what they've seen so we can go out and obtain their witness accounts of them. I'd also like to hear of anybody who has any information around the description of the offender that might lead us to identify him early on and make that crucial arrest. Um, and I'm able to say with any kind of certainty whether the suspect is known or not um, at the moment. But it is a line of inquiry that we're actively pursuing. The victim was on the way to school. Um, we are working very closely with the school in question as well. Um, at the moment we are not in a position to um, say which school it is um, that the girl was attending. Clearly there's going to be a lot of friends at the school, a lot of teachers um, that will be equally distressed by the news of, of this morning's events. But uh, we do believe that uh, the girl in question was on the way to school yet. Um, again, really early stages. Um, I'm not entirely certain. Um, what we do know is the girl had been on the bus for a short period of time when the incident did occur. Do you know if anyone else was injured or tried to intervene? No, at the moment um, there is absolutely no suggestion anybody else has uh, been injured um, and there's no suggestion that anybody did try to intervene. It appears to be um, quite a sporadic um, and very quick attack on the girl in question. At the moment there's, there's been no arrests made, nobody's been detained. The, the male involved, the description of which I've given, is currently outstanding and again I'd appeal to anybody with any information at all in and around the Birmingham area if they see anybody fitting that description please do not approach this male. He is believed that he might be carrying weapons still. He's believed to be dangerous. Contact the police immediately so we can make the relevant intervention in relation to that individual. What I will say is that other people on the bus, we have got hold of some of them, but we also believe there are people who we still have yet to speak to. So I would again ask them, if you're on the bus this morning, please come forward. Um, the manhunt that is ongoing is obviously crucial to this investigation. Um, I am confident that we will catch the individual responsible for this, but I am asking for the public to be vigilant, to keep your eyes out uh, open within the Birmingham area, um, and to please contact the police if you see anybody that you think fits the description or is behaving in a way um, that you think uh, is unusual and may have something to do with the offence. We're looking at a number of motives at the moment. Um, I wouldn't like to speculate, and I certainly would not like to say um, what the motive was at this particular stage. Um, but again, it's, it's one of the lines of inquiry. We look a man has been arrested in connection with the murder of a 16-year-old girl who was stabbed to death on a rush hour bus in Birmingham. The man was held near a Morrison's supermarket following a city-wide manhunt was launched after the killing on a crowded double-decker bus at around 7.40 am. Police said the man was chased and arrested after being seen acting suspiciously and was being held on suspicion of murder. West Midlands Police this afternoon named the girl who died as Christina Edkins, a pupil at Liso's High School.
Just last month, on the morning of 8 February, Christina Edkins tweeted about a man who was worrying her on a bus journey. She said, This man is worrying me on the bus keeps getting up and walking up and down stairs, and sitting in different place colon bar Neil Shaw, the head teacher of the school, said. Christina was a bright and popular student much loved by staff and students alike. We are deeply saddened to hear this tragic news and our thoughts and hearts go out to her family and everyone who knew her. The school is working closely with the police and a team of counselors to provide support to our pupils and staff. West Midlands Police had earlier today launched a manhunt for a black male in his late teens or early twenties. West Midlands Police said officers were immediately dispatched to the scene following reports of an attack on a passenger this morning but were unable to save the victim. Christina Edkins is understood to have boarded the bus on her way to school just minutes before the attack. A spokesman for National Express West Midlands told the BBC, We can confirm that a tragic incident took place on a number 9 service this morning. Our thoughts and condolences are with the family of the person involved and we will offer all possible support to the police in their investigation into the matter. West Midlands Ambulance Service said it was called to an emergency on board a bus in Edgbaston shortly after 7.35 am. A spokesman said, a senior paramedic officer in a rapid response vehicle, two basics, British Association for Immediate Care. Emergency medics and two ambulance crews attended. One person was confirmed dead at the scene. Detective Superintendent Richard Baker said, This is a tragic case and the victim's family are devastated. We are still anxious to hear from anyone with information or who may have witnessed the incident this morning to speak to us via the dedicated hotline 0800960095. There will be a high police presence across the city this afternoon following this morning's tragedy, particularly on buses and in schools in the area to provide reassurance to local people.